interesting uh, idea that we have to talk about is whether or not increasing our access to information will always be a benefit. Now, in the early part of the 19th century, there was this question that people began to ask. How can we get more information to more people fast and in diverse forms? And beginning uh, with the invention of telegraphy and photography in the late 1830s and, and early 1840s, we began to answer that question, to give good answers to it. We've been answering that question for 150 years. Now the good news is, we've answered it. We now can get a Niagara of information uh, to more people fast and in diverse forms. But in, in solving that problem, we raised another one. And, and that is what to do with all the information we now have. Now this is a, a problem, this is a real 21st century problem because it's something people have never had to face before. What, what do you do when information becomes a form of garbage? in everyday 
today's thinking. What is important? What is not important? What is important to know? Is this information important? What in my life is important? What wasn't important? How, and what is the information of my life? The uh, concept of the informal morals. Uh, the human being as somebody eating information. People are uh, depending on uh, gadgets and other stuff to remember certain stuff. Thinking itself somehow leaves the brain and uses a platform outside of the human body, and that's the internet. The tool is not, it is not only a tool, it shapes the human who uses it. The concept of the informa boris, uh, the human being as somebody eating information. So you can, in a way, see that the internet and that the information overload we are faced at this very moment has a lot to do with food chains. Darwinian selection really attacks ideas themselves. Uh, it has a lot to do with um, uh, food you take or not to take, with food which has many calories and doesn't do you any good, and with food that is very healthy. The uh, concept of the inform of morals, uh, the human being as somebody eating information. In my book, I, uh, I discuss I look ahead to how and th this gets a little bit into the world of artificial intelligence and, and, and the, the kind of things that Google is really, I think, concentrating on as it builds more intelligence into its search engine. And I look at the way that the web is becoming increasingly a repository for human intelligence with, that we leave behind when we form links or when we go from page to page. And Google is very good at mining this intelligence, and I think other companies are going to become very, very good at, at, at mining it as well. And in the book, I kind of end with a vision of a blurring of what it means to be human versus what it means to rely on this machine for, our, for more and more for our memory, uh, for the way we navigate information. The things that used to go on inside our head are moving onto the internet more and more.